I'm getting tired of playing around with all these little things, these little nerf darts and blowgun darts and all that stuff. It's just not creating enough destruction, so we're going to go up a notch. Now, AA batteries, as you know, are not light. They're very heavy, very big projectiles, and they create some serious kick when you're firing. And they don't go very fast because they're so heavy, but they have a lot of punch, and they're a lot of fun. So. As I said, I'm getting tired of going for these little things. So for the first shot, I have a milk jug, which I have filled with water, and we're gonna hit it with a double A battery. Might get wet. Oh, it didn't break. So disappointing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Wow. It didn't break where it impacted, but the force of it was so hard that it popped a hole near the top. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Right there, there's a crack. See water coming out. The crack right there and up higher up too. Let's see if we can hit it again. And there we go. That's what I was looking for the first time. Let's see. We went in right there and we can see it at the bottom. See it rolling around in there? <laughs> Fun. Let's see if we can hit it with something else. Let's try the AAA battery while well, it still has water in it. Alright, with the AAA battery. And yes! Perfect! <laughs> and my target range is all wet. Let's do another AA battery. Yes! <laughs> oh wow, that one stuck halfway in. Look at that. Look at that. Fun. Let's try a AA battery at those paint cans there. <laughs> oh man. Got a nice dent there. Now I'll shoot at my cardboard box again. You can see the difference in the weight of the AA battery. Oh man. Look at that. Get in here. That's the entry point there. Went through there and out here. Both sides. Now, one thing I've always loved about hairspray guns and homemade guns in general is they can shoot anything you can fit down the barrel from nerf darts to batteries to rocks let's shoot some rocks so to make the gun shoot rocks or anything that's just too small for the, the diameter of the barrel or for a shotgun charge or something like that an easy way is just take some toilet paper which I ran and got a bunch of here let's see here and just make a plug that fits perfectly airtight in the back right there. All right, so first I'm just gonna take a little piece and loosely, kinda loosely stick it in the front there. And then take my rocks here. Now, I'm kind of wanting to try, I've never done this before, I'm gonna see if I can stick a bunch of these little rocks down in there and do kind of a shotgun thing. So, Let's grab a bunch of these little ones here. Stick them all in there. See if I can get them all in there. 
never done this before. I'm curious to see how it works. And then we'll take our, we want this one to be super tight, as tight as you can possibly get it. Don't want any air to be able to pass through at all. So we'll stick that in the back. I'll look through it to see, I can't see any air. I can't see any light, so we'll stick some more back in there to make it even more airtight. And then we're ready to go. Let's see how this does. I went ahead and got another milk jug filled with water because the first time was so fun. Let's see what happens. And it didn't do much of anything. That was a really stupid idea, by the way. Every single one of those rocks bounced right back at me. What? Never said it was smart. So the rock idea didn't work. So, but I still have this milk jug full of water I want to take out. So I have an old Civil War bullet that I bought somewhere at some time that I loaded in the gun, and we're going to shoot that at it and see if that blows a hole through it. Oh! The disappointment. It did not go through. Well, that didn't work, and I have this milk jug sitting here laughing at me, so I'm going to shoot a bolt at it. Milk jug, you have met your match. Yes! I have had victory. Take that, you milk jug full of water. That worked rather well. Now one other really cool thing I found you can do with this gun is make a airsoft grenade launcher. Basically, I just put, you know, just like, just like I loaded the rocks in, I'm just gonna take and pour in a whole ton of airsoft BBs. I don't know how many, just a whole ton. And then we'll stick our plug in the back again. Let's see what that does. I already know what it does, but you don't, so you're gonna see. Just saying. So, here I am in the middle of an airsoft war, and there's enemies in the fort, and right there, and I'm whispering, cuz, it seems like I should be in this situation, and I have my airsoft grenade launcher, and I'm gonna take them out. And BBs just fly everywhere inside the fort and the enemy is defeated. Man, I really wish the uh, camera could pick up on the sound and see the BBs going, but that was literally probably 50 BBs hitting in a huge, huge shotgun pattern. The whole front side of the fort and a bunch of them bouncing around inside. I really wish I could get some better audio equipment. Now, one other thing that I really like about this gun I made is it can shoot these little paper rockets. And I'm not even going to talk about it, I'm just going to show you. Alright, it's a tad bright out right now, so we might not be able to see the rocket very well, but let's just see. I'm going to fire it at a low angle first. Wow, I hope it picked up on how loud that was. My ears are ringing. Alright, that last shot looks like it only went about uh, 150 feet to me. It can go farther, so I'm going to try shooting at a higher trajectory. And hopefully you'll be able to see the rocket as it goes. That went pretty high. And once again, my ears are ringing. Now, let's try straight up.
Alright guys, that's all for this video. I also made another video about this gun going over how I built it, so if you're interested in building it, you should go check that out. The link's in the description box down below. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. If you don't, don't. And also, if you like more projects like this, I have a ton more on my website, www.jakemakes.net. Links in the description blo box below as well. Until next time, Jake out.